Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're doing okay. Not going to read through the full article here, although there is a link in the description. Uh, this is an update to the situation of an elderly woman who was pushed over by what we believe to be a fairly young woman. So the victim that was pushed over uh, is called Barbara Mayer Gustin, 87 years of age. She's a professional singing teacher with a lot of... Uh, famous clients uh, highly esteemed clients one example debbie harry uh, blondie uh, but uh, other you know theatrical clients um the update is regrettable it's unfortunate she was pushed over she suffered traumatic damage to the left side of her brain and she has since passed um so it's an update to inform you that uh, she has died in a hospital bed on tuesday morning she was on life support at the time um so i did make a, a video going through quite a bit of the details um of the incident but uh, and th there's a picture of the singing coach barbara mayer gustern 87 years of age so an esteemed professional singing coach um, and it seems like it was a random attack or that's how it's been described within these articles here's a picture of the woman concerned there's a video of her walking down the street she seems fairly young to me um, she seems fairly young i believe we'll we'll see uh, a description of her um, of course if anyone has any information of the incident to contact the authorities um, but essentially it was a random attack seemingly in manhattan um, she was pushed over the 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 87 year old was pushed over and she has subsequently died um, So the victim was able to tell police that a woman in her 30s had attacked her. Um, but that's seemingly all the information that Barbara, the victim, was able to provide authorities. So she sustained severe injuries uh, to her head, traumatic damage to the left side of her brain and uh, was unconscious. She was intubated and... Um, she died Tuesday morning. Her family are naturally devastated, the grandson in particular. Um, uh, so it's another shocking example of seemingly senseless, seemingly random, violent attacks occurring in New York, uh, in, Man Man in Manhattan. Um, here's a description of the suspect. Surveillance footage released on Sunday shows the suspect leaving the scene towards 9th Avenue. She is described as a red-haired woman, likely in her 30s, wearing a black jacket, black leggings, a white skirt, dark-coloured shoes. Presently, she has not been caught. So there's that article. Uh, of course, condolences to the family. We hope that the police are able to track her down. Um, the New York police did... Oh, actually... The Washington DC police did successfully capture, arrest um, the suspect serial killer of homeless men. Uh, three homeless men dead across New York and Washington DC. And uh, the suspect was caught. So let's hope that they can also catch this woman here. I would imagine that they would, to be honest. That's a very detailed picture I know it's not 4K or anything. The face is fuzzy. But you can get a good understanding of the clothing, uh, the shoes, her hair, her general appearance. Um, so it's it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good starting point, a pretty good lead, I would think. Um, I'm going to throw my speculation in, which is completely pointless. You shouldn't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. But just my feeling is... My feeling is that um, this is an artistic looking lady. This lady is artistic. I, we can't really see her clothing exactly, but there seems to be like a bohemianness to her clothing, a, a hippiness to her clothing. 
Um, she seems to have her own fashion sense. Um, I think she's a creative person. Completely sporadic guessing there. Completely baseless guessing on my part. I just wonder if she's a client of Barbara's. That's where I'm going. That's where I went immediately um, when I saw this, when I read through the first article on this case. I just got a feeling that she's perhaps a client. She has like, I mean, is that like a collar on her neck? It just seems like she's the creative, performing, entertaining type. That perhaps she's a, a singer or a performer. Um, and perhaps she's had a run-in with Barbara Mayer Gustin. Uh, perhaps Barbara has upset her in one way or another. And um, perhaps... Because of that, this woman saw fit to knock her down, to push her over, to push uh, Barbara over. Um, that's my guess, completely baseless, but um, hopefully we'll find out who she is. Hopefully she is, uh, the, the investigators do find her and uh, arrest her and put her through a trial so that Barbara and her family, Barbara's family, can get some justice. Uh, so I'll wrap things up here. Condolences to the family, of course, particularly the son. The son was making some posts on social media, Facebook, um, informing her family and friends of the, the loss of Barbara. Um, so condolences to the family. And I'll leave things here. If you feel any, if you see any value in this kind of content, if you think I've done a good enough job, in going over the details, if you like perhaps some of my other videos, do like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I may be doing some live streams. I'm interested in your input. Um, if that's something you're interested in watching uh, at the time, maybe you look forward to some kind of live stream around these topics. Maybe it's not of interest, but uh, I'd be interested in some feedback in regards to that. But I'll thank you for your time and um, take care.